Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Let us see what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, all right? Let's see what's coming towards you. What's the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's coming towards Sagittarius, please. What's the guided love message for Sagittarius, please? Oh, wow. You have the Queen of Pentacles in here. You have the Tower card. You have the Empress card. Let's see the love energy connected to you. The Moon card. The Temperance card. And the Seven of Swords. In the immediate future, you've got the Eight of Wands. Your Four of Wands. Eight and Four. And the Fool card. I don't know why I'm hearing the song. What is that song, please? I'm hearing the song. Um, it's a very old song. Like it. Like my senses. Um, I always hear that song when I'm, I always hear that song whenever I miss someone. Like it's a you feel up my senses like a night in the forest, like a morning in springtime, like a walk in the rain. What's that song? Like a storm in the desert. Like a sleepy blue ocean. Ah, any song, yeah. So someone is very dramatically thinking about you. Sagittarius. Come let me love you. Come love me again. Anyway, I'm starting to sing now. <laughs> Let's start your reading. Okay. You have the Queen of Pentacles in here. You're really building the momentum in here. It feels very much about, you know what, Sag? I would say you're breaking free again. I would say, um, I feel like in the last three to four weeks, you've lost yourself into, you're very productive. I'm kind of picking up the last three to four weeks. You've been productive. You've been on the go. But there was a part of the last three to four weeks that, you slack off in terms of self-love, self-care, okay? But it's okay. Maybe the solar eclipse, solar new moon eclipse, it has reminded you that Sag, you've got to invest like the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. You have got, you've got the time. You've got the time. You've got the money. The Tower card is telling you, you've got to invest on self-care, self-love, because what's coming towards you what's connecting towards you it could be the most prettiest face or a pretty boy a pretty girl or something to do with something so beautiful that it's so hard to pass okay something tells me that you're reading it's like you're somehow going to connect with a very special kind of this person is beautiful, Sagittarius. Something tells me that you like the face of this person. It's... Okay, I'm just downloading the message. Like five, five to six to seven days from now, you're about to connect again um, or to meet. It also feels like someone new, but it's not an ex. It feels like it's just someone you dated or someone you flirted someone who is a bit in and out of your life it's so hard to resist this person because you want to explore them you want to, you want to explore them there's something young about this person this person is also so good looking and so pretty there's something aesthetically attractive about this person um there's a bit of insecurity coming from you, Seb. There's a bit of insecurity coming from you, Sag. Because the Queen of Pentacles, you want to invest. 
it feels like you might have forgotten to take care of your body, to take care of your skin routine, like you slack off with, there's a bit of laziness when it comes to taking care of yourself, your sleep, uh, your, the eyes, the, the, there's a dark circle. I'm seeing dark circle, dark circle in your eyes. Uh, for some of you, you're a bit bloated. For some of you, the skin is a bit dehydrated. But I'm kind of picking up this Queen of Pentacles, the Tower card. Boom. The Tower card. Sunshine. I'm going to do a total eclipse of the skin, of the body. And I would like to reflect, reflect the glow up. Because um, physically, the outer seems to be, you have a little bit of, I would say, a delay. Your inner... You're so industrious, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles and the Tower card. Like professionally, professionally, you're full of knowledge, full of wisdom. Experience it. Experience wisdom, like life experience and wisdom, 100%. Professionally, 100%. You've been working hard, you know, in the last two to three weeks that you've forgotten to indulge into self-care. Something tells me you got to prepare. Because the love that will connect with you, it might feel or throw you off a little bit of insecurity because they're pretty boy, pretty girl, or someone younger. Or I would say you feel like, hmm, this is out of my league, okay? So if your intuition is telling you, catch up with sleep, catch up with good workout, catch up with good skincare, like invest in those self-care, self-love, uh, do it. Because what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, is a love like no other because there's so much attraction. It feels like this person is, that will connect with you, it feels very brand new, it feels very young, very just good vibe, okay? Like young vibe, I'm kind of picking up young vibe or it feels like they're very pretty, they're very handsome, something like that, okay? see the hierophant card like this is a very this person this combination it's like a pretty face and smart or it really is a very good catch because this is someone that you will never get tired of looking at their face i'm mean, gonna look at the face of the hierophant card isn't he gorgeous and not only that he has a good job very stable, very single, no baggage. Whoever is going to connect in the next six to seven days, no drama, just a pretty face, a stable job, consistency, loyalty, and you just have to really let this person in, okay? Now, this person, they're not dating anybody. They're younger than you or they have a young vibe. It also feels like this person... I'm getting a lot of readiness with this person. So whoever this person is, they're so ready for you. They're so ready to fall in love. Oh, why do you have a two of swords? Oh, the death card. Ah, okay. You've connected with this person in the past, Sagittarius. And it feels like they're so ready to fall in love. They're so ready to connect. They're so ready to mingle. They find you hard to get. This person finds you a hard to get person they find you a hard to decode a hard to somehow it also feels like in the past there's a lot of misunderstanding misalignment and mismatch in terms of timings but they don't take it against you in fact this person is like we will get there like this person i'll keep trying we will get there we will get there I'll keep trying. Because if you look at the two of cups, I will see you again. I One day I'll talk to you. One day I'll talk to you. One day I'll see you. One day we will have a nice conversation and it's going to click. Like this is a person who, whatever bad vibe or whatever miscommunication, misalignment that took place in the past, they don't take it against you or against them. It's more of, it's a bad timing. One day we're going to talk and we're going to connect. One day we're going to see each other, we're going to meet, and then we'll have we'll see each other eye to eye, and you will understand me. This person, Sagittarius, they like your personality more than attraction. They're very sure that they're going to fall in love with you. They really, really like your personality. 
they find you fears seven of swords they've been stalking you they've been asking around they've been stalking you they find you more than everything a very a very strong fierce independent and there's so much that they can they're not bored about you you know this person is quite famous some people rejects them but you reject them sorry some people they reject other people but with you you reject them they find it easy to charm other people but with you they find it difficult so for them you are fierce you're a challenge and this person it feels like eight of wands they want to dive deeper and really get to know you they really find you a very very interesting person you have an aura that they're so attracted like they find you they find your aura personality like an eye candy more than the physical attraction it's more of your width your reputation your smile there's something that you have that turns them on sagittarius eight of wands seven of swords like you put them like you know they behave with you like this person cannot be like you discipline them like this person behaves with you differently something like that eight of swords they have a lot of manifestation around you about you like this person you know this person has been manifesting you in your dream they think about you they're intimately manifesting you they've got like um what do you call that like sexual dreams about you Sagittarius I'm kind of picking that you turn excuse me you turn this person on mm. nine of wands they can see you they can see you but you cannot see them for some reason I'm kind of getting that okay let's get more details about this person I'm so intrigued with this person this is not an ex definitely not an ex yeah they can see you you know what Sagittarius they're so interested with you that they want to find out everything about your career about your life they find you a little bit secretive Sec secretive they find you for some of you guys this person they cannot accept that you're somehow they're quite um how do i say that they're quite they didn't like that you reject them or that you didn't chase them but something about this person that are quite popular justice card they can see you they can see you and this person is very patient um this person has no mean bones i don't know what happened in the past whether there was a miscommunication misunderstanding but this person is never surrender like this person okay misunderstanding i'll try again they have never removed they have never removed you in their list like other up they have options sagittarius yeah world card i tell you they've got options like this person some people they're the way they see other people the way, it's it's not their equal wow and not only that but you're diamond you're like you're diamond you're their equal there is a challenge in you it doesn't make them boring like they're choosing to like they will pick you i'm kind of picking up like the they will choose you they will choose someone who can challenge them and bring out the best with them than to date someone who is ordinary. So more than everything, they're, they're in love with your personality. They're, they're in love with your reputation, your aura, your vibe, your energy. There's something with you that uplifts them. There's something with you that um, makes them excited, makes them want you more. Um, they have nothing against you, whatever took place in the past. It's it's nothing. It's a misunderstanding. This person, they might be immature, maybe one or two hours or two days, but they can improve. I really feel like, you know, this is your counterpart. Like this is your dynamic, your combination is something exciting because you can be, you could be feeling introvert. This person is extrovert. You could be feel, feeling extrovert. This person is introvert. Like, your dynamic is ever changing. This is a person that can intuitively pick up your opposite, like opposite attract. So if you're not in the mood, you're not in the mood, this person will put you in the mood. 
and we're not and when they're not in the mood you lift them up this is the this is what they like about you that you've got something positive and op optimistic in your heart that this person is so addictive of your vibe yeah balance thank you spirit oh my gosh that was hard to pull but yeah there's something they find you not so much perfect but they find you perfect that would work in their lifestyle in their personality because you can put them into you can set them something to do with when they're not in a good mood you are the person that can put them in a good mood when they're not you're, you're not in a good mood they can you know they can make you in a good mood balance your dynamic your combination is a perfect balance there's like a give and take in terms of energy you know you don't overshadow you don't compete you just lift each other up you know yeah sag i really hope that you and this person will connect and it will be a perfect you know if in the past if things didn't didn't work out between, between the two of you it's it's more of not a good timing okay but one day i feel like you know in the next three to four weeks you and this person will find that perfect one one timing one perfect time you know one day you will connect it will go like one day you're gonna talk one day you're gonna see each other no qualms just going with the flow and you will have an infinite understanding of each other and that's it that would start a good flow that would that would start that that would be the start of it you know what i'm picking up with this person Sag, is that they keep on trying failed they keep coming back failed they keep trying failed again until one day they tried a click and they up uh, they have unlocked the energy and you have unlocked the energy and that's it everything goes into flow everything falls into places just one communication one day one day yeah look at that if you don't believe me i don't know why you've got a two of cups in here this is your one day it's a reading it's a vibe where it's a person you it's a romantic interest that when you click you misunderstood okay disconnect you connect disconnect connect disconnect until one day you will find a perfect energy a perfect one day just takes one day one good day and it will go with the flow and everything will fall into places like it will just take one day and you will activate all of the loving vibe and you will see each other eye to eye and that's it it will never stop from there it's the start you know imagine you're trying to you know trying to ignite a match it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work but you, could, you didn't give up they didn't give up and one day it spark and everything falls into places it's always like mis misalignment or mis opportunity or wrong timing like they always connect with you when you're traveling like you keep missing missing on each other or you would want them and they would be dating somebody or they would want you but you're traveling or you're dating someone and you know another cycle another cycle and this mercury retrograde this person will bring you and this is the unforgettable mercury retrograde because it's a mercury retrograde that will bring you someone that will give you that one day it's just gonna click it's just gonna fall into places yes this is your one day so this is your reading sagittarius thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much for being here i will connect with you soon guys and i'm just checking my schedule yet yeah, tomorrow is the next update for private reading for the merchandise everything is processed on the website thank you for the love notes thank you for the coffee i will paste the link towards the if you haven't watched the full month of may um collective reading in the other channel i'll put the link down in the description box below please watch it okay thank you guys bye bye